Woo! Wee, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. Sitting here with my Smith & Wesson 604. Badass knife. And I got a box in from a man, Scabber. And I kind of know what's in it. Not everything. Not everything. I've seen a couple pieces. I'm not sure what's what. But, um... I know he sent some Rosecraft blades for me to check out. Um, so far, I've only done one Rosecraft blade. Not done one. Um, I've only reviewed one. The only one I have was sent to me by Joe Steele <laughs> over at uh, JS Bladecraft. Um, and my man Joe. My man Joe sent me the, the Mohawk. And it's a harpoon. Well, it was. I changed it and made it better. So, now it's just beautiful. And I freaking love it. But some of these in here, from what I saw from Scab, are things I wouldn't have to be changing. Um, so, let's see what's in this box. Because I think he had a surplus of bubble wrap that he needed to get rid of. Because there's a whole lot of bubble wrap in here. And I'm pretty sure Megatron was like, Scab. You've been hoarding bubble wrap. Get rid of it. And he goes, yeah, I'll send it to d -Bat. I don't like that guy. So, <laughs> there's a whole lot of bubble wrap. So, one thing I'm so happy about is my d -Bat Menace is back. Um, I love my Menace, and I'm not going to lie. I missed it. I missed it. it. Was Wow, the leather smell right when the box opens. Oh, my Menace. Um, it just, the leather smell is just so real. But I'm happy to have this back because I was carrying this and I want to carry it again. It's just such a great knife. Um, so, that's the D-Bad Menace, one of 50. And I got to keep the box because, well, it has my name on it. Not too many, not too many boxes have my name on it. I like that. So, all right, so I got my Menace back. And now I can see beyond the bubble wrap that there's a... That there's actually some knives in this box. Oh, that was just a bubble wrap. All right, let's see. Man, I wish I, I wish I had a bunch of bubble wrap to send him back. Wait, I do. So let's see. So I can tell right away that I just knocked a couple out, and um, just at first sight, uh, pretty nice, pretty nice looking. I don't know how it's gonna fit in the hand. There's one. That I'm really excited about. And then a couple that I was interested about. Um, the one I'm excited about, Scab, I'm pretty sure knows which one it is. Um, because he did a video and I was like, well, damn. Um, and then there's some that I'm really wondering about. So, I'm glad he, he sent those because I want to see if they're actually going to fit in the hand. Um, it just looks like it was designed by a very small person. Um, so... We are going to figure this out. So it looks like there is maybe seven different blades in here that I'm going to be able to check out. Two of them are in boxes. So let's check this out. So it's road craft, oh, Rosecraft blades. All right. So I'll tell you what, there's, there's a slip joint. There's a slip joint. Ooh, um, that's nice. I do like me a good classic. Um, and, and I have to say that Brandon over at Thrasher's Garage Sent a couple, and I found a new love for um, little leather sleeves. Uh, these don't obviously have sleeves, but I'm like, well, I could totally get into those. Kitten just jumped into the box. Um, so this one's kind of cool. It's got like a little screwdriver end on there. You don't usually see that on these old style uh, slip joints. That can be appreciated. I have no idea how this thing went back into the box. So... I'm just going to temporarily close. Oh crap! Hey, come on, damn cats, damn cats! I'm gonna pop this back into the box the best way I can. So there's that one, which is really nice. It's got a nice clipper on it. Um, and then this one, which is okay. Is this a hawkbill? If this is a hawkbill, I'm pretty excited. I really like the um, the scales. Oh, it's not. It's more of like a uh, Almost like a sheep's foot. But um, the orange scales are really nice on there. Look at how 
Look at how well built that is. Um, a working choil on a slip joint. And I can bend it with my thumb so I'd be able to get a full grip. And let's see how well the stop is. Perfect. So you're not going to cut yourself up. Um, I, I was going to say, you know, I normally don't like this style of blade. Normally, especially with the rear sweep. Just never been a real fan. Um, but instantly, I have to say, this is, this is pretty nice. I don't know why I'm actually um, more excited about this than I thought I would be. This is in person this is way better looking than i thought i mean way better looking that is beautiful so uh so there's that one um i don't know this one is one of those you don't even have to test it to go winner winner chicken dinner it but i'm gonna um that's pretty nice okay so i want to get through a couple of the ones that i was really concerned about the size first there's this one and i don't know what their names are so i'm gonna have to look them up um, so I'm not going to give you what they're called. Um, this one, I saw this little itty bitty cutting surface with this much of that. And at first I was like, I would have no use for a knife like that. But then I started thinking, I do have a couple knives that are small cutting edges that I actually use. So I could see it now grabbing the grip. I would say, nah, I don't really like it. I, I would tell you straight out. Don't really like it. It's clearly made by a little person. Um, not a little person, but like a little person. Who knows? She might be a little person or he might be a little person. Um, but it just seems like a very small person created this. And then you go like this. Boop. And you use it as a maneuverable cutter, like a little task blade. That changes everything. So... The, the size of the choil is a working choil. Um, it is a very comfortable working choil. And now because of that, it changes the way the grip is. So my middle finger is here pulling backwards on the swell. And that works. From here, the forefinger, that index finger, barely rests on there. So there's not a lot of... You don't have a lot of positive confirmation with your hand on there. But from here... That's an entirely different knife. So I'd say from here, it's like, eh, I would not be interested in that knife. If it did, if it was just a straight cut all the way through, if this edge came all the way back and there was no choil to help with, these damn cats, man. Um, I'll tell you, I would most likely not like this at all. What a difference there. This is going to make a really, really nice, um, just like Whittler type knife um so i have to say um from first sight did not like it and i like it now i haven't used it but i like it now so this one looks almost like kind of like same thing it's a little front flip um and so now the choil gets a little smaller and for me because of my hand size i have to say that this one it's attractive. I'll give it that. It's definitely, I'm not going to lie. It's nice looking. It is a nice looking knife. Um, but for me, though, because it's round here, there's no angles for your pinky to sit on. So it just slides all over the place. Um, and normally when you're going to do a shorter than like four and a quarter inch grip, you have an angular rear and that gives a pinky rest. This one does not have that. So literally for really big hands, um, this is a complete loss for me. Um, and it sucks too, because while I'm not a big, like Warren Cliff fan and this and that, um, I have to say it's not bad looking, man. Uh, that, that, that blade's not too bad looking. I, it has a forward point. It's swedged in the front. So it gives it a little bit more to dig in. Um, I really wish the handle was a little better, but we're going to find out if it's good now if this one had a choil like that one you'd have less of obviously cutting service but if it was a bigger choil because i stick my hand on that choil and all i feel is that just digging into me um i'll tell you it would be just like that one it would be instant love in the forward grip but this one i have to say not so much not so much and it's all back here i, I guarantee you if if like I gave this to one of the girls in the house and I said, what do you think about that? They'd probably grab it and like it because they're little. 
and it, it just has that feeling like whoever designed this has to be a pretty little person. Um, but they made an attractive little person knife. So let's get into this one. Here's another one where it's almost cleaver style. And I am not a cleaver fan at all. I, I just don't care for them. I, I find no need for them unless I'm cutting a block of cheddar. I really don't need one. But I saw this one with the canted front and the forward point. And I saw the texturing in the handle, that blue um, frame right there. It's got nice spacer and it looked like a nice knife. Now this one, whoever designed this did a really good job in the handle. Um, thumb on the spine, feels really good in the hand. Just in a full foregrip, I can, my index finger still, this is a little too small to where you're not getting a full fist. There's a gap. And you, no, you know, your, your fist would have to be, this finger would have to close underneath. You know, a fist is like this. This is all supposed to be even. For this to work, my, my index finger would have to be below these fingers. So, but when you, if you're not grabbing it in a full grip, like a punch, and you grab it in a working grip, so your thumb is on top, um, now all of a sudden all that goes away. What I can feel now is that really nice jimping on the liner lock. Um, and I can feel the really aggressive hold for like downward cutting. Um, I think, uh, th I think this thing's going to be like a really good cutter. Uh, the, the texturing inside of these scales, it's really nice, really well done on the G10 there. Um, so this one looks like it's probably going to be a winner. Uh, yeah, that's, that's not so bad right there. That's not so bad. I only have... I think one blade, and it's a tactical gears blade, where the end is like this as far as a folding knife. And I love it because of the forward cant, and it's just a big bad knife. Um, this one I would set, look how nice and thick that is. This one I would set with that as far as like this style and how it fits in the hand. Um, I like it. I like this. I, I'm excited to test that one. All right, so the last two. There's this one. Now this is one I knew I didn't really care for. Um, I had no idea it was this big. And I'm, when I say big, I mean like it's blocky and heavy. It's a knife. You know what I mean? This isn't, it doesn't feel like a toy in your hand. This one actually, you put this in your hand. It feels like a knife. This one I like better, right? I just, I, I don't know. I just like it as far as when I first saw it, I was like, okay, I, I would like this one a lot better. This one doesn't feel as meaty as this one. This one doesn't look like it would be as meaty as that one in person where I, I assumed it was going to be like this, this wide, it's this wide. So let's see, it is a flipper. Um, and again, I am not a fan of this style blade. I mean, when, especially when you're talking from a designer standpoint, it's like, okay, we're going to make a straight line and just go down. Great job. Um, it, it, it doesn't give me a, a, an appeal as far as design there's no like wow you really designed the hell out of it no you didn't you just bent it down here's the thing though is it gonna work and that's that's what it that's what it matters the, the number one thing is is your design safety is it going to be a design flaw where you, the knife isn't going to do as it's supposed to do how it's supposed to do it um or is it going to be unsafe and it it's not going to be unsafe that's for I can tell you right now, they did a great job from this point to this point, giving you, now this one, like I was just saying a lot, this one, if you make a fist, you can feel it. Um, this one, you see this little angular piece right here, how it's not round? This handle is too small for my hand. I don't like the size. Now, with that angled piece for my pinky, you see how my pinky is going down? Because instead of being up here and on this arch and this curve where it's sliding off, now I've got this lowered slant right here and where I would have never guessed my hand would fit on here because of that slant is just the end of this right here is catching my pinky. It's keeping it from sliding away. You can see where, how far my pinky is off of this, but that little lip right here is keeping it. My pinky is not sliding off. You see the, the gap? It's because my pinky is falling into a place. So it's not tight like this it's separated because it's falling onto a ramp. So 
like like that other one, I think this is going to be a good downward cutter, um, without a doubt. So this will be your typical like box opening type knife and all that. One thing I can say is it is surprisingly girthy. It is surprisingly meaty. Um, so it really does feel like a knife in the hand. Um, not so bad. And the last one, this is the one I was most excited about. I wish I could remember what it was called. This thing right here, um, frame lock, just sweet, 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 sweet. The handhold, again, you have that angle right there. Really, really puts the pinky in a downward position, which means now it extends the grip. You don't have to have a long grip as long as it's curved right. You see that on the D-Bad Menace? There's a reason I designed my Menace to be like that, because that style of grip works to hold a pinky. That's why the grip on the Menace is so good, because it comes down, and whoever designed this knows what they're doing. This right here is enough to keep your fingers from going this way. This right here is enough to keep your fingers from falling off of the end. Um, so I have to say that as a designer and from a design aspect, the blade, beautiful. The It's like a modified clip. You have a really nice set of grind lines there. Um, your, your stock as far as here is thin, so you can't have it too skinny right here. And they did a good job of keeping the liner below that. Uh, I mean, not, not the liner, but the frame on this side below the height of the actual scale, which gives you that extra little piece of something to grab onto. Another thing they did really good is, see right here, they channeled your frame lock. So instead of just being a square on your finger, it is rounded but not tapered so much to where it's going to feel like another edge on your hand. Um, I was really, really excited to check this one out because the design said to me that this is going to work in the hand. It just, you could see it. You know what I mean? There's some things you just know are going to work. This one is really freaking nice, man. I don't know who over there at Rosecraft designed it. Um, all I can say is, golf clap um this is really sweet this is really sweet so i was totally excited about this one um i was concerned about a couple interested in a couple and i have to say right off the bat on a couple of them that i had concerns about those concerns are gone there's only one so far that seems like for a guy my size is going to just be like a uh, no no not so much um but the rest of them the rest of them, I think, are going to be pretty good. I think I just reached puberty there, too. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this one, totally, totally stoked about. Totally stoked about. I'm going to show you something. So, with this guy right here, this is a hand-fitting a hand fitting, fitting knife. And this is what I'm talking about, where you see how much girth there is from here to here. And see how they can get thin right there. And, like, on this one, you see literally... It's like one and a half of that. And that's where like my finger isn't even right now touching this, right? So when I, but when I have to, when I hold it into this grip, so this one I can hold into this grip and this grip and get that kind of feel, right? Um, in this grip with the thumb on top, I have to say this is really sweet. The only place it really, really lacks is in that full grip. That's the only place it really lacks, but it only, it lacks there for me because of that you know otherwise um i might not you know i wouldn't have that problem so i would have to say that if you have small to large size hands i think every one of these is going to be good if you have large hands this one might not be so good um large to quadruple x whatever i have a double x hand so this one's not so good in my hands I would have to, if you have a small to medium hand though, I could see this being your favorite knife. Um, <clears throat> as far as just the way it is and the, the fact that it looks good, it just does. It looks cool. Um, but hand size is so important when it comes to this. Some knives are built for any hand size, some built for specific hand sizes. This one's pretty much built for almost any hand size. And uh, I have a lot of respect for whoever did that because it's really nice. Really, really nice. So, 
One, two, three, four, five, yeah, six, seven. Okay, so there's seven of those. We have seven reviews on these things to get done. But what you guys don't know is that I just ordered three pieces that are coming in that are going to be, I don't want to say show pieces because that makes it sound like wall hanger, but they are going to be beautiful. All um, Damascus. One is special with some Damascus in it. I'm not going to explain what it is. I'm just going to tell you it's special. I think Scabber might really like it because of something he was doing for like the last year. Um, one of them I will tell you, I was asked, um, hey, how come you don't do a push dagger review? I got a new push dagger coming in. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And the other one, the third one, man, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And once you once they come in and you find out how much they cost, mind blown because they're that anybody can get them anybody can afford them kind of blades we'll just have to figure out if they're worth it so that's it for this um i'm i'm pretty excited man i'm pretty excited to get going on them i'm excited to have the menace back in hand gosh it feels really really nice um i'm super excited to be able to to be able to get get to use my knife again and not only am i happy to have the d-bad menace but um the d-bad mck the military combat knife is getting pretty close to finish in production also is the d-bad commando coming out of khhi so there will be a new croco and a new khhi d-bad knife coming out really excited about those plus a three coming in plus a seven right there boys and girls we got some work to do. Hi, I'm Donnie B. All Day. Till next video.